teeth. So, yeah, you have greens in your teeth. <laughs> so I'm here with Kiersey and Lewis. They just got back from <clears throat> Nepal where they uh, trekked up to base camp at 18,000 feet. And I guess you have to go to 20,000 feet to get to 18,000 feet from what I'm understanding. So anyway, we we're just talking a little bit about how they prepped for that altitude. And one of the cool things they did was sleep in an altitude tent at what, 13.9? 13 13.9, 13 yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> how long before you left were you doing that? Uh, we did 13.9 for, we built up from 6,500 okay. to probably the last two or three weeks we were 13.9. Okay, and you started at 6,500. 6, but how long ago was that? Uh, it's about a six, six weeks, six, six week seven process, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've used those in the past and uh, with great results, actually. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, that's I, cool. I don't think uh, that I could have, you know, responded to the altitude the way I did there without right. the tent. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely sleep high, train low right. mentality there. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. So for people that don't know, the sleep high, train low is kind of thought to be maybe the optimal way to train. Because when you're sleeping high, you're depriving yourself of oxygen, but then when you want to train low so your body gets full oxygen so you can actually push your muscles harder. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then you were using a couple of supplements also. What, what do you think helped you on that? So we both use the Neo 40 tabs, yeah. um, one tab at, in the morning and one at night, mm -hmm. and then also H2. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell us how those work for you. Just to, to um, being that you're at altitude and the, the cardiac demand, just having the, the higher nitric oxide levels, um, and uh, with the nitric oxide levels, we always made sure at the tea houses we had a whole lot of greens as well. Yep. Um, High dietary nitrate. Yeah, yeah exactly. And, uh, and then with the. Uh, Do you take any of those beetle eat chews with you? Oh yeah, we had I did. those. We probably ate six of those a day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah we, and we, you've done the testing with the strips to show that that really lights up those test oh, it strips. Does. It really does. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're so you were dumping in the beef, and then you the were beets. dropping the Neo 40 yeah. on top, which was releasing all that as right. nitric oxide. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we primarily ate vegan while we were there. Right. Um, so the all of the nutrition in the greens or the you know vegetables that we had were increasing the nitric oxide in our blood. So. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. And what, what about the H2? You were using that, using one tab at a time? Or uh, we were using, two tabs at so we, I used, for me, I drank between five and six liters of fluid a day. Okay. And in one liter containers at mm -hmm. a time. And I would put two uh, H2s. H2s in there every time. Okay, cool. And then just sip on that through the track all day. Yep, um, nice. And it, it kind of almost gives it a little bit of a lemon taste in yeah, your water, does. so it, it makes it not just yeah. taste like water. So when you're tired of drinking your four to five liters of water uh, at a time, you're just like, yeah. okay, let's put an H2 in there, and so you're getting, you know, magnesium, magnesium, and yeah. and also you know H2 is just great for managing oxidized stress because every single day on the trip is on your body yeah. like all the pounding up and down hills and climbing across rocks and things so yeah you're basically bouldering it sounds mm -hmm. like right? yeah. so, yeah, so for, for me once we landed in Lukla which is 10,000 feet the start of the trek my O2 sat was never never got above 85 percent ever so it's yeah. like 11 days of 85 percent or lower right so it's pretty yeah i burned through magnesium just in general so the H2 right really h2 helps, helps that a lot too yeah. yeah it was hard to take all of the supplements that we usually take um, on the trip because it's a lot to pack yeah. but we carried on magnesium uh, CoQ10, fish hydros, oil, and uh, vitamin D. Pills. Yeah, nice. Uh, then the hydrogen and the beta. So what's the lowest your O2 sat got, Lewis? 48. 48? 48, and the heart rate was laying flat between 160 and 180. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and that's when you were in the toxic uh, tea house? Yeah. Toxic tea house, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Gotcha. The unventilated tea house, yes. Yeah. What was it when you weren't in a toxic environment? Uh, it's in the 60s, 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 60s. Level, 70s, yeah. 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 At base camp, I think it was 61. 
Gotcha. Yeah, 61% yeah, base camp. Right, right, right. Uh, and how, how heart, but my heart rate came down. It was in the is in the 80s. Okay. But that that percentage. Yeah. So yeah, there's some interesting physiology around that yeah. uh, for people. What about you, Chrissy? How long did you stay? So I actually stayed in the 90s pretty well until um, we got higher than 13,000. And then at base camp, I actually was 81%. Yeah, so I was kind of proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible. And um, my heart rate um, on days, you know, where we were walking a long distance, we probably got up to one, 140s, 150s. Mm -hmm. And base camp at 81%, it was like 99. Yeah. Um, so it wasn't bad, and I felt pretty pretty good. We stayed in base camp about 50 minutes and I started feeling like, okay, it's time, time to, to go. go back down. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, that's at 18,000 feet. That's right. really high. And yeah. we just came from up above that to come down into base camp. So, yeah. Gotcha. It, was, it was a... <laughs> Is there anything you do differently next time if you ever did anything like that? Um, probably go a little slower. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Take our time. Yeah. Like, yeah. we just, we didn't necessarily, like, go too hard, mm -hmm. but take your time and, like, enjoy the scenery a little bit more. Let your body acclimate um, a little bit more as you go. Yeah. Uh, we pretty much hiked for, we would trek for four to five hours a day. Mm -hmm. Probably a better plan would be seven the nine. same distance over maybe six or seven hours. Gotcha. More breaks, yeah. relax. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. A little slower, I think. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. All um, right. One thing that we did um, was we would have breakfast in the morning and then we would have like a break um, mm -hmm. in the trek. We were the only two who would actually eat like um, a lot of protein. A lot of protein, eggs. And eggs. We had mm -hmm. eggs at every stop that we would go to. Mm -hmm. So the protein, uh, I think, helped us. Um, keep rebuilding keep and stuff rebuilding. like that. Yeah, since yeah. we weren't eating meat products, um, the eggs, the eggs was our source of protein pretty much there. Right. And um, nobody else uh, ate as like we did. They just had their like um, beef jerky or like some other things, but it wasn't sustainable. Right. Um, right. And so we would just keep going, and everyone else was kind of tired, and yeah. we're like, we're gonna do that again. Yeah, <laughs> you know, very cool. Always feel <laughs> everybody. Everybody lost a lot of weight yeah. just out of pure bad nutrition yeah. habits. Yeah, I, uh, I lost about twelve pounds. Really, and I ate a lot. How about I you? Lost you, lost quite a bit. you lost 10? Do you think that was muscle you were losing? Or? I, I think, don't it think was so. I got really, really lean. Yeah. Oh, okay. Really lean. So you burned off all the fat. Yeah, I burned basically. a lot of fat. Yeah. We burned a lot of yeah. fat, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Interesting. But I was able, we were able by eating eggs three or four times a day, we were able to keep our yeah. protein. Well, altitude does that because, mm -hmm. you know, it ups your met metabolic rate oh, yeah. to keep up with the breathing rate that you've got to sustain to get enough oxygen. Right. So you were feeling it. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. you can lose weight just sleeping in that environment. <laughs> yeah. Very cool, guys. Yeah. All right, thanks. <laughs> sure.